Hello and welcome to the video on residual plots. We will first start off with constructing a residual plot and then go into why they're important and how we use them in this class, okay, or in general. So let's go ahead and talk about this residual plot. So you can see it's the same thing, it's an xy plane, but in this case it's going to be the x's are the same x's here, okay, the x's are the same exact x's, but the y's are actually the residuals. The y's are the residuals. Okay, so for example, here I'm at 10. I'm going to write 10 right on the on the x-axis because I'm going to need this space. So at 10, this point here, this point here has a residual. So the distance between that top point and that point is the residual. And as if you watch the other uh, the other video, this is going to be a positive residual. Okay, so I've already put the data in list one and list two, and I've already did the scatter plot. Okay, so I'll just do the scatter plot. There you go. So that looks similar to what I have. All my data is in there. So to find this first residual, okay, it's observed, which is 20, minus the, the, the predicted, which is the dot here on the line which if you remember is vars, y vars, enter, enter, open parentheses. We want to put 10 in there because we're finding a prediction for 10. So I put 10 in there, close, and that's going to be my actual residual, which is 1.26. So now let's look at this. Okay, so I'll put that at 1. So this would be negative 1. So the residual here is just a little over one so I just put a dot right there okay so my next point here my next point is 15 15 okay and you could write these smaller under there and 15 and, and if and if you could see really all I'm doing is I'm taking this this least square regression line right here and I'm just like grabbing a hold of it grabbing a hold of it and then just making it into a horizontal line and these other lines uh, these other points around it just keep coming down with it okay let me color code it the same with my points with my residual points okay so that this is actually right here that's 1.26 so obviously at 15 my residual is going to be a negative number okay so I just I go uh, 19 which is my observed at 15 19 is my observed y for the explanatory x. 19 minus vars, y vars, enter, enter, open parentheses. Now we want to get a prediction for a y hat for an x of 15. So it's y observed minus y predicted. Enter, minus 4.6. So that's down here a little bit. negative four so that's down here a little bit okay let me stay color coded okay so the next one's actually 18 but I'm gonna just keep the X's the same okay so now I'm gonna show you how a quick way of getting all of them alright so since my equation my least square regression line is in my y1 I could use this function this is gonna give me every uh, every single residual so second stat which is list second stat which is list we want to go to number eight so I hit the up button and it says resid okay so I hit oh when you do this you have to be okay when you do this you have to be in a um, a clear screen when you do that so let me just go ahead and do this real quick okay so now my Y one's back in there my Y one's back in here. No harm done. Now, when you do this, like I said, you want to be in a uh, blank screen. Okay, so it's back again. Second list, second stat, which is list. Go up to eight, hit resid, and then just hit enter again. And if you see, this is my first residual. That was my second residual. So the residual here at 18 is 3.48. So 3.48, and 
look at this one. This one here, the next one's going to be really small because it's just above it. It's going to be a small positive. 0.53, it's almost a half. Okay, and that's actually at my 20. Fix this right here. This, this residual was at 18. This is at my 20. Now, if you look at the 25, I have two data points for 25. One's above the line, one's below the line. So my residual at 25, one's going to be above and one's going to be below. So the negative 2.33 is the one below. Oops, I'm over here. And the one above is 1.6. That's 1.2, so 1.6 would be right about here. So this is my residual plot. Now, if you, if you, um, oh, I guess I got to bring this in, so you're gonna see my whole screen. Okay. So now, now another thing I could do is see here's resid. I could store these into list three. Okay, because I could do a residual plot on my calculator too. Now, generally you're not asked, but I'm just showing you this. This just gets you better at your calculator. So I did store. L3 and I hit enter. Now all my residuals are in my L3. So if you look at um, these were all your residuals. This is your list one. This is your list two. This is your list three. So now you could do a scatter plot with list one and list three, and it'll give me this scatter and it'll give me the residual plot. That's how you do the residual plot on the calculator. Now generally on test questions they give you the residual plot and you just have to interpret it and know what you're doing okay so you have to be really good at just looking at this thing and knowing what's going on okay so I did I'm not sure if I talked about what I did but I went in here here's my scatter plot my X list is list one that's my X list here my Y list is my residuals which is my Y's my new Y's are my residuals now I do a zoom nine and that's what this thing looks like okay and this is a great example of when we could tell a is when we could tell if a scatter plot is linear or not that's what we use these for we use residual plots well one reason we one one use is to determine if original x and y's If the original X and Y relationship is linear. Okay? And the way you determine that, if there's no obvious patterns. If there's no obvious patterns, then yes, it's linear. Okay, so let me show you an example. Not all the way out, not all the way done, but let me just show you a quick example of when that might not be true. So here I have this this relationship, and let's say it's like that okay so so some you may look at this and and say yeah there's it may be linear but if you were going to do a least square regression line okay the line would look like this it would cut through like that okay so going back to, now this is my scatter plot if I go to a residual plot Okay, let's change the color and look at these points right there. These first two. Are they below a line or under the line? They're below the line. So these two would look something like that. Okay, these are the resid. These are the x. This is the x, that's the y. Now look what these do. This forms like a dome. So this residual is real small. And as, as this, this line goes up, the residuals get bigger. So it actually does something like this. Now I'm getting to this line. Now now they're under here. 
Okay. So now this residual plot, this is the residual plot. This exhibits a pattern. This is an obvious pattern. It's an obvious curve. Okay, so the original, the original X and Y relationship is not linear. Other than just looking at it, this is really the only way you could tell, okay, for this class. Okay, so whenever you're given a problem, generally they'll give you the scatter plot, or um, they'll give you the, the residual plot as a scatter plot, and then they'll say, okay, what can you say about the original X and Ys? Then you'd say, since the, the scatter plot exhibits no obvious patterns, the relationship between X and Y is linear. Okay? So let me go and talk about one other thing. Let's talk about 18. A lot of times you get these problems, and I, and I touched on this on the last video, and then they'll, they'll ask, they'll say, okay, for, for X equals 18, They'll give you this point and they'll say, is the prediction for x equals 18, was your prediction too high or too low? Okay? And then and then people right off the bat will go to 18 and they'll go look at this point and they'll say, since this point is above the line, then the prediction was greater than. But that's backwards. This right here is the prediction. This. The line's the prediction. Prediction. So... We actually got 30, but predicted less than 30. So this line is the prediction, this, this horizontal at 0, at, at y equals 0. That's that line right there from algebra. Okay, So at 18, the prediction would be too small. Okay, So just make sure you understand when you associate that line, this line is a prediction line. Okay. So that's it. You, now you can see how to make a residual plot in your calculator. Take your time, practice this, learn these things inside and out, and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.